Hello and welcome back to Beauty Bee. Today we're doing a really quick, I think I'm titling this 10 minute makeup tutorial. I know from experience that it often takes me more like five as uh, every minute counts in the morning sometimes. And this has been kind of a go-to these past few weeks. I've had a lot of instances where I've needed to look very put together in a pretty short amount of time. Also, just a note, this is part of my beginner makeup weekend. I will have the playlist linked up in the cards as well as down below. And everything that I'm using today is from the starter makeup kit that I showed yesterday, two days ago. I'm not exactly sure what order these videos are going up in. All right, now for makeup, I'm going to start with just a little bit of concealer. I think I'm going to go just go on my chin today because everything else is looking pretty good. I do have moisturizer on, but I don't have anything else. Oh, and I have lip balm but nothing else for right now. I'm sure I make absolutely ridiculous faces if I do that. Okay, it's worthwhile to point out that I'm starting with all clean brushes. I don't normally, I will usually reuse, you know, a blush brush for a couple of weeks. However, because I'm going into so many different powders and so many different eyeshadows with the same brush, I want to be strategic about it and not be, you know, dipping matte bronzer into my powder and then putting it all over my chin. So that disclaimer out of the way, I'm going to go into this pressed powder on my blush brush. I'm just going to set that area down. I'm also a little dewier than I actually want on my cheeks, so same thing. Okay. Okay, so we've got that down. Next up, I'm going to go with, in with some eye primer. Everything will be listed down in the description box. I'm just going to apply that all over my lid and then up into my crease a little bit. I do think it's important to get up into your crease with your eye primer. I think a lot of people don't. However, you want that area to blend just as neatly as anything else. Maybe more neatly, really. So, you know consider that when you're putting it on. Now I'm going to take my shader brush and I'm just going to dip into the shade Classic. I will put up a picture of my palette right here. This is sort of a light beigey brown. I'm just going to set my eyeshadow with that and I'm just going to use that to set my primer. This is a little bit darker than what I would usually use but oh well no big deal. Next up, I am going to use a mixture of Classic and Rich to fill in my brows. And for that, I'm just going to use the liner brush that's on the other side. I'm just going to do that pretty lightly. She says as she goes in way darker than intended. It's okay. You can just go over with a finger. And that helps to even things out quite a bit. So those are filled in. Now we get to work on the eyeshadow. I'm going to do a mostly pink look today. I feel that that is pretty flattering on me personally. I'm going to start out with Recharge again. Look at the picture. I'm just going to take that on my finger and I'm going to put that all over the lid. All the way up into the inner corner. The goal here is not to do anything too complicated or anything too crazy. The goal is just to look put together, professional, etc. So next up, I'm going to use a mixture of that same color I used to fill in my brows. So classic and rich. 
and I've got them on this crease brush and I'm just going to, well, put that in my crease. And I'm just going to use that sort of windshield wiper mo motions. I'm holding my brush pretty close to the end so that I'm not depositing a ton of color. I'm not really looking for a lot of color out of this. I just want something to help with the transition from the pink shimmer back to my skin color. So repeating on the other side. I also want something to cover up some of the veining that I have around my eyes. Okay, so I think we're good on that front. Now I'm going to just flip over to the other side to this little smudger brush. And again, I'm going to dip in to a little bit of classic and a little bit of rich this time, a little bit more of rich than classic, and go under the eyes. This gives them a little bit of subtle definition. It's not as stark or as easy to mess up as eyeliner might be, which I think helps make this very beginner friendly. Okay, so now we could be done with eyeshadow. I think I want to add a little bit of liner though. And for that, I'm gonna go into that same angled liner brush that I used to fill in my brows. And I'm going to go into a black and now I'm just going to pat right along my lash line. I'm not looking for anything too crazy. I just want to darken that up and that's going to help make my lashes look fuller and darker than they actually are. Do you see the comparison there? It's nothing intense, it's just darkening things up a little bit. I got a tiny little dot of shadow there, so I'm just going to use that my finger to rub that away. And I think that is looking good now. At least I can't see it. Hopefully no one else can either. Now for mascara. I'm going to go both top and bottom lashes today. So that's the eyes for the cheeks. I think I'm just going to do blush and highlight. I'm going to go in with this blush from that Physicians Formula palette. I'm going to really load up my blush brush and I'm just going to swipe that across the cheeks. This is a pretty subtle blush, so I didn't feel too bad about really loading up my brush. If, you're, if you are using something that has a little more pigment to it, you might want to be a little bit more careful. That is glow enough that I don't think I really need highlight. However, I want to do highlight because, of course. So I think I'm going to go in to this shade, which is sort of a beigey pink. And I'm just getting a little bit of that on that same blush brush. And I'm going to pull it right along my cheekbones, sort of up and back. All right, so now that I'm very glowy, I think I'm going to top things off with a little bit of lipstick. I'm going to be using my Sassy Mauve lipstick from Revlon. Here is what that looks like. I already have lip balm on. That's important to note because it's going to make this be a little bit more sheer than it would be otherwise. So let me just put some on my lower lip. And I think that that is it. I could have wiped off my lip balm and just applied this straight from the tube to both top and bottom lip. That would have given me more color and a little bit less shine, but you know, I'm going for something a little bit more subtle today. All right, so that's where we're at. My thing, all right, so that's where we're at. My camera's telling me that I've been filming for 16 minutes. Uh, 
knowing me that probably means that it actually took me about seven minutes to do my makeup and eight minutes of fumbling with things dropping things and just not knowing how to talk I really hope that this was helpful or interesting. If it was, please consider liking and subscribing. That would really mean a lot to me. I hope you'll check out the other three Beginner's Weekend videos, and I really hope I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!